Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday Live guest, Mark Rycroft, joining us tonight. Uh, we talked briefly about the Stadium Series game that's happening yes. Saturday night at the Air Force Academy, Falcon Stadium against the L.A. Kings. How cool is that setting going to be? Uh, I think it's, it's going to be one of the best outdoor venues that has ever been pulled off. And we need a clear, sunny Colorado day yeah, right. because the backdrop of the mountains is as good as any outdoor mm -hmm. game has ever been. I mean, it's like you're up in Vail or literally in the mountains. It's stunning. I think the seating is great, the way the rink fits in with the stadium up there, Falcon Stadium. And uh, I don't know, Kyle Keefe and I, we're going to be there. Yeah. NBC's covering the game, so we don't get to be on TV, but we'll be doing it. So does that mean you get to hang out and have a couple of brewskis? Or well, what? not too many, because we're going to do web hits and a whole bunch of things online okay. for the Twitter machine and Insta and whatever else we're doing. I so Notice you didn't say no, you just said not too many. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Hey, what challenges does that present, though? Because it is a much different setting than what these guys are used to playing. And so what challenges does that present from a coaching standpoint and a playing standpoint? The weather's well? always the big deal. Is the sun going to, you know, bring a lot of glare? Uh, just how hot, how cold is it going to be? Do we going to have snow? I think the, the thing for the players is the game is almost the secondary event. And so everybody's going to be out there with the family skate the yep. day before, and there's a whole bunch of hoopla. It's like the Super Bowl of the season. So it's when you get to the game, Stay focused on the game. It's a critical game for the Avalanche uh, team against the LA Kings. They should absolutely dominate. Mm -hmm. So make sure you go out there and dominate. Yeah, and it you should know? be a great setting, too. Tickets, to, tickets uh, still available for that one. We talked about Nathan McKinnon. We talked about Kale McCarr. How much does head coach Jared Bednar, how much credit does he deserve for this team's success this season? An absolute truckload. Coach Jared Bednar is a stud. Yeah, you got to remember he came in for Patrick Waugh in August. Then went through a 48-point season. I mean, you don't, you can't even fathom how difficult that is to keep your energy and your momentum going. Then had one of the biggest turnarounds in NHL history mm -hmm. the next year. He gets along well with Nathan McKinnon, of course, with Landis Gog, McCarr, all the guys. He knows how to work the personalities and the energy, and I think he's doing a phenomenal job at getting the best out of his players. He's won championships in the American Hockey League and the East Coast Hockey League, so here he is trying his hand at at the coaching reign, and he's got the team to do it. He knows, but it takes a lot of talent when to, you know, get out the cattle prod and give him a shot, and when to pull back. Coaching is one of the most difficult, uh, overrated jobs on the planet, I believe. But Coach Bednar, he's one of the best. He's making a great name for himself. And to that end, I think it's fair to say that the Abs wouldn't be where they are if Joe Sackick hadn't made some of the offseason <laughs> moves and acquisitions that he made. Things are, are good in, in Joe Sackick land these <laughs> days, all starting with the Matt Duchesne trade. Since then, things have really taken off. And then you look at Pierre Edward Belmar, you look at the Nazem Kadri trade. Everybody was so sad to see Tyson Berry go, but it was a business move. It had to be made. Kale McCarr is here. Tyson Berry had a year left on his deal. Nazem kadri has got 19 goals now. He's an incredible second line force. Andre Burakovsky's got 17 goals. These are all brand new guys. Jonas donskoy has got 16 mm -hmm. goals. This is a depth the Avalanche were looking for, but I don't even think Joe in his, in his wildest dreams would think that every single guy he brought in is on a career year. It's unbelievable. Except for Naz Nazem Kadri's had back-to-back uh, -back 30 goal years, but the depth and uh, the muscle and sandpaper he's bringing on the second line probably the most important part of all the trades. Yeah, I mean, and you look at guys like Val Nachuskin on oh. pace for a career year. He's got, what, 10 hey. goals in his career high, 14? How did I not mention Val Nachuskin? <laughs> he went like 1,356 days without a goal. <laughs> now he scores in back-to-back -back games, 10, like you said. He's he's locked in on that second line with Burkowski and Kadri right now. If that second line can maintain their production, not even that much, and follow up the McKinnon line, I mean, this team is as close to unbeatable as you can get. Because how do you stop McKinnon? And then you do. But how do you stop Kadri and Burakovsky yeah. and, and um, Nachushkin? They're just beasts. Nachushkin's six foot five two. Burakovsky's six three. These guys can shoot the puck. It sets up for a really, it's really a complete fun package here. It's a complete package. Second half of the season. You got her, Mark. As always, man. Yeah, thanks Mike, so much my for pleasure, joining buddy. us. Watch your parking lot. I was going to say, try and get home Stick safely if you would. <laughs> One wreck is enough for tonight. That's going to do it for us here at the, at the View House Centennial. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com.